So the elevations, that's what something looks like. Uh, looking at it straight on, it's always from right, left, rear, and front. The, the elevations are good to have because if you need to know ceiling heights or floor thicknesses or all, they'll always be on the elevation pages. They'll always tell us the ceiling height on these on the elevation pages. The elevations also show us what the exterior materials are, the type of shutters, if there's shutters, trim. Uh, the roof, that type of thing. You'll get all that information. Anything that has to do with the exterior of the building on the elevation pages. And especially the ceiling heights. So here, nine foot one, first floor, telling us the type of siding. It's giving us the pitch of the roof, how steep it is, all on the elevation pages. And the other uh, drawing is the section. Just taking something and we're slicing it right in half and we're looking at it. Uh, it'll, the arrow will show us. I'll show you the next drawing. And you can see that we slice that building in half. We're looking in this direction. And if we go to building section number one on page A3, we'll see what that looks like. Looking at it straight on. So that's what we see. If we slice that the way that drawing showed us, this is what you're going to see. And it's kind of a you know, a, a great reference because, you know, showing us that this is all vaulted right in here. Uh, you know, it's giving us our ceilings here, stairs, how they're laid out, a lot of information on it, just a little bit more visual. There's that drawing. You cut it in half, and there's what you're going to see. Section doesn't have to be the whole building. Section might be even just a wall type. It might be just some area that we need a little bit more information on and we want to know a little bit more about and we might just slice it in half and that'll tell us exactly what that section is. And here's where I was talking about going to 3D in the future. You can kind of see that you know, this is a whole lot clearer in some ways than that is. So I, I, I think we'll probably see more and more of that as uh, we get, as the industry changes. Same <coughs> uh, marking designation that we went, that we looked at on the footing. It's just cutting it in half, showing us the drawing number and the page number and which way we're looking at it. Okay. Keep in mind, too, there's also written specifications on the drawings, uh, something that gets overlooked a lot. There's some things that can't be drawn. There's some things that just need a little bit more clarification to it. Always make sure you go to the written specs, too, that are on the drawings, because there's a whole lot of information in there. A lot of times, these get missed when something's constructed. Details are just additional information, additional uh, way that something should be put together. You can see by these 3D drawings that when you are putting these together as a designer, you really do need to know how something gets put together. And it's a whole lot harder to do this than it is to just do a plan view and hand it to somebody. But it sure is a whole lot clearer. Uh, again, just more details. Dormer detail, 
how it's supposed to all be laid out. What's that uh, squiggly line at the top of it? This? Yep. Uh, it, it, what that does is it's just showing that instead of having a solid line all the way across for that whole wall, it just shows it's broken up. It, it's really like... What does that mean? Though? Shorter. It, it's, <laughs> it means that it's, not, it's continuous, but we didn't draw it continuous. So it's just construction. Yeah, right. Because if, if you notice, this is a section of wall that really should continue this way. And they're saying that it, you know, it does continue, but we stopped it here. Okay, just another detail again. More detail. 